Welcome back to the Digilent Physical Computing Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll learn how to control multiple LEDs manually using controls in the front panel, and then we'll update our code to display the binary representation of a number on four LEDs. In LabVIEW, I'll click Help and choose Find Examples. I'll click the Search tab and type Links. Then I'll launch the Links Digital Right End Channels example by double clicking on it. I'll close Example Finder and close the Context Help window. Then I'll choose the serial port, in this case COM4, which is associated with the Chipkit WF32. Then there's an array of DO channels, digital output channels. By default, they're set to 2, 3, 4, and 5. The Chipkit WF32 has LEDs on pins 13, 43, 48, and 47. So I'll update these with 13, 43, 48, and 47. And the reason we put them in that order is just because that's the order that they're set on the Chipkit. Then I'll click the Run button, and we'll run the VI. Lab will establish a connection with the Chipkit. And once it does, I can click on the LED controls and you'll see the first LED turns on and the second, the third, and the fourth. So we can manually control multiple LEDs. Let's take a look at the code. I'll click the stop button and press control E to bring up the block diagram. I'll press control H to bring back context help so we can see what VIs we're using. We start by using an initialize VI to establish a connection to the chip kit. Then inside the while loop, we use the digital write end channels VI. This takes an array of digital channels, which are U8s, and these are the channels we specified in the front panel. It also takes an array of Booleans, and these are the LEDs from the front panel. These determine which, pin, uh, which values to write to each pin. Outside the loop, we close the connection to the chip kit, and then we handle any errors. Let's modify this code to display the binary representation of a number on the LEDs. I'll switch back to the front panel by clicking on it, and I'll place a numeric control. I'll use Quick Drop, press Control Space, and type numeric, and I'll choose the silver version and place that on my front panel. This will be the number that we represent on the LEDs and I'll rename it value. I'll double click on the edge of it to find it on the block diagram, and we can see by default it was a double. I'll move it inside the while loop, and then right click and choose representation, and change it to an unsigned eight, a U8. Then I'll use quick drop to place the number to Boolean array primitive. This will convert our U8 number to eight binary values that represent the bits of the number. I can wire this directly into the digital write, but before I do that, I'll delete the control that we currently have wired to it. I'll left click to select it, press delete, and then I'll press control B to remove those broken wires. Now I can wire the number into the digital write, and we're ready to run our code. I'll switch back to the front panel, and I'll click run. Then I'll click inside the value, and we'll wait for LabVIEW to establish a connection to the chip kit. Once it has, I can increase the value on the front panel, and you'll see the value represented on the LEDs. The highest value we can represent with four LEDs is 15. So when we go to 16, the LEDs turn off. We're only seeing the lowest four bits, so if I keep incrementing, we'll see it count up again. That does it for our basic tutorial on controlling multiple LEDs, but make sure to join us next time when we'll learn how to read the state of push buttons on the Chipkit WF32. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.